to the lightweight division. Daniel Viveros of Ecuador versus Ilias Marti of France. Viveros has almost a five inch reach advantage in his arms and a one and a half inch reach advantage in his legs. So his opponent, Marty, is going to try to fight close to his opponent. Though he has to watch out for the leg sweep from Viveros because that's his favorite move. In the red corner. Daniel Vivales. In the blue corner. Aliyah Spirey. Fighters, enter the pit. Glove tape for Daniel Viveros. Blue glove tape for Elias Marty. He comes in at 21, the youngest fighter on this card. Dare I say the most confident, judging from our fighter interviews. Wayne Spinola's the referee. Yeah, Marty says he's young and relentless. Says that he fights like a wild man, but will use smart counters to stop his opponent. Very confident young man. Started Marty, karate when he was seven, by the way. Marty completely dismissive of the skill set of his opponent, Daniel Viveros, when we spoke two days ago. Yeah, Vivero said that his opponent's greatest smart fighter, but he will use the pit walls to his advantage. So let's see what he means with that. Vivero said he feels that Marty would do exactly what he's doing right now, sit back and look to counter. And he wants to win this fight with a body shot. He says, I love the body shots. I know, boss, that you love them too. Big takedown. Beautifully done. High up on the waist and yeah. elevating with that takedown. Here we go. No ground to pound the follow. One minute gone, round number one. Switch of stances from the Ecuadorian, Viveros. Viveros, he's shorter than him, but he has a five inch reach advantage in his hands. That's crazy, right? Viveros looking for the front kick. Here comes the ground to pound. That is full on. Huge shots. Wow. Spinola reaches the five count. Ooh, he's a little dizzy. He's not stable on his feet right now. You can see Marty. that indeed, Boss Marty, yep. walking back to the center of the pit. Now it's the guy, time to go body head for Viveros. Absolutely nothing on that kick attempt from Marty going low. That's what he was talking about using the ball. Looking for the showtime kick in mm. karate combat. Oh, that kick not stop, getting stop, through. Stop, stop, stop. Fight, yeah, Marty's coach is Davey Dona. He's a really great karate ka himself, who also fought for us in Greece. Unfortunately, he broke his shin bone in his fight. And, uh, well, had to go to the hospital for that. Donna in the corner of Marty. Donna happy to report, not walking with the limp, said that he will be back soon in the karate combat pit. Good on the low kick. That landed hard from Vivetos, yeah. taking Marty off of his line. And immediately following up. I mean, he's following through. 
You see a lot of karate when they come straight from point karate, don't, don't, they don't do it. But a lot of these guys, they told us they start doing kickboxing as well now on the side because it's full contact. Oh, nice straight punches. Look at that. Spinning back fist, but Marty had already found the exit. Glad the pit is well constructed. That landed flush against the wall. Yeah, Viveros has great distance. That is the end of a very exciting round of the one. Right. Let's take a look at this big shot here. Poof! Oi, oi, oi. Props to Marty for not going out on that one. Look at this. That was a hard shot. That moved to the side. Wow. Yeah, that's youth. You know, you're young and just overcome that. Great stamina will help as well. Man, looks like Marty has done that more, right? It's fascinating good. boss in this car. We saw it in Miami, we saw it in Athens, we saw it last September in New York at top of the World Trade Center. How the different fighters approach the five seconds of ground and pound. Some are very cautious, some really go at it. You know, I, if I was them, I would use the walls, like just like Round the Ferris was saying, fight. and I would focus on takedowns and, and ground and pound, because not a lot of them are doing it. They're doing it, but not perfect. Do good, but you can always make it perfect. Very strong round number one for Daniel Viveros. He's definitely slowing down Elias Marty. Marty was already looking like a counterfighter, even more like a counterfighter, really waiting. That's probably what his coach Davy Dona told him. Just wait for him to come and try to counter on an opening that you see. Bit of flash there from Viveros. Man, he's really he's got great movement, Viveros. Great distance. Look, he's staying just outside the reach of his opponent at all times. Very smart fighter. Probably going to use the wall now in order to do something. Oh, nice. Spinning back hook kick. Yeah, Gary. Shiro Uramoshi. Back attempt. Referee breaks it up. Back to the center of the karate combat pit. Switch of stances for Viveros. Interesting striking guard for Viveros. Yeah, Viveros also with that kick. I wonder if he does, does the same thing now, but makes it a roundhouse kick. Sometimes it's a setup. Make it big so they can see, go for the body, and then suddenly switch it into a roundhouse kick. Like the question mark kick, so to say. 90 seconds remaining round number two. Much slower tempo to this round than we saw to the opening round. And it switches stances from Viveros. Marty's still really trying to find his rhythm, find his tempo. That's the thing. I think the first time in his life, maybe he got hit really hard because he's super confident coming in, like he co completely dismissive of his, of his opponent, but then he got hit, and suddenly we see this version. A little bit more calculated. Low kick inside of the calf, lands from Viveros. Nice movement to the side at the moment. Three. Marty yes, has was kicking. no interest there, boss, in diving in. Viveros fainted with the up kick, and that was enough to keep the Frenchman back. And it's very low for Marty. I was going to say, Mar uh, Viveros is going to use the, that, uh, the wall. But I think Marty knows now. He doesn't push him further if he's against the wall or in, in the corner, because he knows he's going to use it. 30 seconds now remaining on, round two. Go. See Marty slapping away the lead hand of Viveros. Viveros switching stances, switching right back to Southpaw from Orthodox. Head kick from Elias Marty. Oh, nice take out. That was pure Three, upper body strength. Two, Just throw it down. Big shots there, even a the hammer fist. Reverse hammer fist from Marty. That was the first time I saw that. That was cool. Not sure if he planned it or if it worked out that way, but indeed, a reverse hammer fist. We are heading to the third and final round. I like also his head movement from Marty at the end. He started using more head movement. We don't see that a lot. Yet. Ooh, 
Abdallah Ibrahim versus Kevin Walker. That's a fight I'm really looking forward to. Last April in Miami, Ibrahim recorded a devastating first round knockout versus Bellator veteran Josh Quayhagen with that big left hand. And he's looking for another big left hook. That was his biggest wish. He said, if I could have a wish to win tomorrow, I want it to be the left hook again. The Mawashi Tsuki, as they call it. We're at the historic Avalon, Los Angeles, California. Hollywood and Vine, Karate Combat Hollywood. Here we go. Fight. Round three. Fight. Third and final round. Daniel Viveros of Ecuador versus Ilias Marti of France. Got a combat debut for both fighters. Oh, big head kick lands from Viveros. Fight. Veros continually boss switching stances back to southpaw. Yeah, he's a super explosive fighter, but so is his opponent, Marty. Marty needs to turn it up though with this round. Preferably, let's go, let's go. Let's go. don't let it go to the judges because he might be behind. Be behind. For all of Marty's talk about being reckless, being wild, letting things go, he's been a very cautious fighter, especially since he was dropped in round one. Yeah, but that's what Mike Tyson said, right? Everybody has a game plan until they get hit. Ooh, that was Good left short. hand by Mardi. And the left hook flash knocked down on Vivetos. Yeah, that, 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 that right hand before, I believe it landed as well. Fight. Starting to find the target. And Spinola keeping this fight moving along. Again, Spinola and Bell have been fantastic, the two referees. Swing and a miss from Mardi. Viveros in our fighter meeting boss talked about controlling the tempo, controlling the rhythm. I think by and large he's done that. He's working, guys. He's working. Yep. Let's go. His game plan is working. Nice little hook kick there. Big to swing the and a miss from Viveros. Rare moment of wildness for him in this fight. Right. Yeah, but Marty, that crazy kick that he did to the calf, that lands with a with a heel. That's how the only one I saw ever do that was the great and late Andy Hook when he made a spinning back into Mike Bernardo's thigh, which was already beaten up by Peter Ertz, and then he stopped him, won the show. Look at these guys going at each other. To the final minute we go of this lightweight bout. Marty has started to find his punching range a bit here in this third and final round. I say final with the asterisk. That if it's level, if it's a draw on the three California judges' scorecards after the three rounds of nine minutes, we will have an additional three minute overtime round to determine the winner. Oh! Counter right hand, then the left, a right hand right back from Viveros after Marty landed. Keep working, guys, let's go. Wow, Viveros. Missed, then Marty connected, and then Viveros connected. Swelling under the right eye of Viveros. One, two from Daniel Viveros. He's missing with the head kick, swinging big. Swelling under both eyes on the face of the Ecuador. Oh, oh, down goes oh, Viveros oh, again. Oh, the bell and the end of the fight. I believe Viveros, I would think he won, and if it's not, it's going to go to the third round. Then the referees think it's very close. Great sportsmanship. This is why you know I was talking about it yesterday in the interviews, you know? This is what I like. At the weigh-ins, they get a little lippy to each other. They get right in their face. As soon as they separate, they bow to each other out of respect. I love it, man. You can't see that in any other sport. Take a look at some highlights. Oh, look at that beautiful roundhouse kick. Oh, a nice punch that landed. And again, just steamboating straight through his opponent. Look at that inside kick. I love that. Great distance, moving out of the reach of his opponent. Very well done by Viveros. Is it still taking time? Because that could mean, right, that there could be an overround, an extra round. 
Huh. Boss, in my experience, is a proud member of the Kansas Athletic Commission. Usually when you have a delay, it means that it's something other than a unanimous decision. That's what I'm saying. So the Spectre now, and over time, an extra time round is looming. Both fighters, as you see, pacing nervously around the pit. Inside of three rounds in nine minutes, we will not have an overtime round. Let's go to Danny Trejo. Winner in the blue corner, it's a split decision. Okay. Elias Party. I gotta be honest, I didn't think so. There's some disquiet in the crowd and you see elation from Marty. And just a look of absolute dismay on the face of Daniel Viveros. Yeah. I mean, he connected with the big shots, led a high kick, I mean, takedowns, ground and pound. Oh well. They'll fight another day. Again, we knew it wasn't going to be unanimous. It's going to be a split or a majority or even a draw, sending us to the overtime round. A little Conor McGregor walk he did there. Vicky Cutters, even touching karate. Elation I love it. for the 21-year-old Ilias Mardi in victory. The winner by way of split decision, Ilias Mardi defeats Daniel Vivanos.